Hello everybody. Welcome to Mina Says. How's everybody doing tonight? Well, we are going to do a reading for the collective. A timeless reading. And I have not titled it yet, so let's, we'll have to find out together what it's going to be titled after Spirit gives us some guidance. I'm getting February energy. Valentine's Day, the love energy. All right, perfect, perfect for Valentine's Day. Oh, the guides are coming. Let's see, the Seven of Cups. This is about not limiting yourself to, to the sky. You have a lot of options out there, a lot of options, and you can, you can have it all or you can pick one but don't limit yourself in fact really stretch your imagination jump way outside of that box and reach for <laughs> the other side of the universe not just the sky not just the stars not just the moon keep going Keep going. You can have it all. Make your wish and take it. And then start on that journey with no expectations of what it could be, should be. Leave your mind and your heart open to the completeness of an experience. Don't limit yourself with expectations or assumptions. And always have hope. Today is just temporary. Tomorrow brings the dawn of a new day. This is a healing, a healing path. I think we're all on a healing path to... <clears throat> Ascension. <laughs> Use your intuition in all that you do and just know tomorrow it'll be a brand new day. The Queen of Wands. This card could represent you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. The Queen of Wands is very fiery and passionate. She's loving. She's just very passionate about all that she does, all that she pours her energy into. She don't half-ass it. Nope. Nope. So, whatever you're creating, give it your everything, because it's going to be amazing. Seven of Pentacles, second seven, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's time to assess your seeds that you planted seven cards ago. See how they're coming along. Be proud of yourself. See how far you have left to go. Make sure your action steps are in line with your goals. And uh, you're going to be good. You will get there. One more, and then we are going to do an animal oracle card. The Three of Wands. Three 
you. It's very passionate again, that fire element. This is about launching what it is that you want, your business, your, you know, really nurturing them seeds that you planted on, you know, three, two cards ago, three cards ago, two cards ago. <laughs> And watch a ship come in. Don't, again, I feel, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. You can have everything that you want. You're a creator being. It's time to create. Animal Oracle card is the raven. Shaman. Shaman energy. See, I was telling you. Intuition, that, that psychic creator being. You are the creator and the magician. That's awesome. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the elemental, the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. I'm telling you, there is no limit to you. There is no limit to you in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you later.